Oh, hello. Yeah. Welcome to Jez Beer Review's revisit of Paulina Oktoberfest. Let's drink some beer, yeah? So, what have we got? We've got one litre. 4.7 standard drinks. This is 6% ABV. I picked up this one litre Oktoberfest from uh, Aldi of all places. I ducked in there because I don't really like Aldi, but I only go there for the beer because I get they do get some good German beers there, good price. And they had this in the glass, okay? Now, I already had a glass. I, I reviewed this beer back in 2012, 10 years ago. It's been a decade since I had this beer. So, this glass here, stay tuned because uh, I'll go into detail after I finish uh, doing this review. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour it out into this glass, this glass, and the leftover to go on there. And then, after I do the review, I'm gonna give you the spirit of Oktoberfest, and inspired by booze reviews, booze chugs, I'm gonna down it all. Right Righto, let's crack open this one litre can. It hasn't changed, I had a look at the video that I've done 10 years ago, and uh, the can design is still the same. Is it in date? It would be. Yeah. This four was the fourth of seventh, 2023. It's time. Right up. Pour it in there. So this is, like I said, six percent. More head than Bangkok on that glass. They actually also at Aldi had five litre kegs of Paul Lana Hefeweizen and Paul Lana Hills. Now, if you're able to get that, I can't get it. I've got beer on tap home brew, but those beers, they can go flat pr pretty quick in those, uh, those kegs, the way they dispense. So the best bet would be to share it with a friend. There's something to think about if you like your German beers. Right up. We've got this glass to smell. It smells very, very malty, very bready. Um, liquid bread. It is good for you. It's one way Michael Jackson described it when he went to Germany. So uh, let's get into it. It's been 10 years and I'm, uh, I'm tonguing for a beer. Let's get into it. Cheers to you all. Prost. Oh, it's so, it is so delicious. God, that's good. It's got that good medium, medium, medium to full body between them. It just coats your mouth in uh, smoothie goodness. Sweet malts. Ready. Absolutely delicious, lacing this glass. A touch of bitterness at the back, which helps with the sweetness. But it really is a treat. It is a beautiful flavor and it's a well-made German lager. The noble hop presence is there in the flavour. I noticed when I, uh, I brewed a beer using Tet Bang and Hurst Broker. <clears throat> Maybe somewhat a bit of a herbal flavour to it is in it. They're sweet, beautiful malts. Jeez, it. I'm gonna get a recipe for this. I want this on tap. I'll try and make something as close as I can. Absolutely outstanding. Can you session it? Yes. 6% is a uh, five, six, 5 to 6% is 
is a sweet spot for me. I could session it, but I wouldn't say I'd be sessioning 12 of them. I'd probably yeah, just say this is a regular can of bottle. You know, I might have four, four to six, you know, depending. And there's also dryness at the back there too. So to me, it's sessionable. It's a festival beer, it's a fest beer. It's, uh, yeah, absolutely outstanding. Outstanding. So the score for Paul Later, Oktoberfest, it's been 10 years, it's been a decade. And I'm gonna say, it's absolutely, it's outstanding. And I've tried a few fest beers in my time. And this, this is, yeah, great. Go to Yaldi if you're in New South Wales, you may be able to still get this. Righto, so, the glass. So I've got this glass, cams inside the glass. I have one, I don't need two. I see they're on eBay, you can sell them. People go on like 30, 40 dollars. I think that's a bit much when I paid 20 dollars a whole kit. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give this away. And what you, all you gotta do is uh, comment below what your favorite German beer is. That's all you have to do. I'll let this run for a week to next Saturday in Australia. And uh, let it run for a week. Just comment down below your favorite German beer. And uh, that's what you're gonna do to enter. And then I'll do a draw. I'll film it and then we'll have the winner. To enter it though, you must be in Australia. I, just, I can't afford to send it overseas. The glass will probably be broken anyway. So I'll send it anywhere in Australia. This glass, all you're gonna do, your favorite German beer. Right up. So here comes the fun part. Saturday afternoon, I've got delicious uh, Oktoberfest beer here, and let's down it. Cross. recommend hunting it and once again comment below your favorite German beer and go in the competition to win this big stein glass for later. Alright thanks for watching episode Jews Brew Reviews as always you take care I'll see you in the next one.